Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Facing the Music with Terry Oldfield. My name is John Valdivia, producer at iTheSound.com. This series, curated from Candid Conversations, will introduce a return to the mystery and wonder of existence, as well as our necessity to confront ourselves. We shall also feature selected pieces from Terry's extensive musical anthology. In this episode, Terry explores the ego's obsession with problem solving, as well as the chasing of the feeling of security and new experiences. Welcome to Facing the Music. You know, the security thing is really powerful, and it certainly was with me. I really wanted some sort of security. God, you know, it's like I feel like I'm lost. But that is exactly the moment when you need to feel lost, you see. How do I stop feeling this? Searching around for how do I stop feeling lost is the avoidance of the fire. That's it. You know, and that's the crux of it. It really is. There must be something wrong here. There must be something wrong is the way that thought looks at the world. There's got to be, because I'm a problem solver and... If I can't see a problem, I, what use is there for me to be around? You know, I mean, I need problems. I've got to, I've got to have something to solve. So if the way to get rid of any problem is to create a bigger one. Now, this is a very powerful way of living, actually, because if you have a problem, create a bigger one and the other one will just fall away. We look for extreme experiences. The lack of intensity, you know, there's nothing going on. This is boring, you know. That is also the fire. Because that is the one of the most difficult things to go through is when, when things are pretty normal. You know, the, the sun comes up, the sun goes down, um, you, you make a cup of tea, you're doing some gardening, you know. That this is, there's nothing much extreme happening in your life. So we look for drama. We can get addicted to drama. There is no other freedom than to be completely who you are. And to be completely who who I am, I have to be completely where I am. In the sea of emotions and feelings and sensations, not caught in them, but allowing them to flow through this consciousness, this this awareness. And they do flow through, and we only discover that by allowing it. We cannot, we cannot understand it, you see. You, You have to allow it, you've got to jump into the friggin' water. I remember reading once the Tibetan Book of the Dead. 
to actually transition through the through a particular area you have to be willing to be with the the monsters the the thought monsters that will inevitably come up there's such a huge mystique about dying and there's the fear and there's the ending of the body and there's all that sort of stuff and there's all the religious stuff but the consciousness if it's clear it will just allow that and pass through and uh, allow everything to be and it will just they just apparently they just poof I had an experience reading one of these books once that I tried to chase. That trying to chase it was the the discovery that I couldn't get it through chasing it. That was the big lesson for me there. But we have these um, moments in life where we we can either just let go of it or we get stuck on trying to repeat it that's the the biggest uh, stumbling block of getting caught up in um, experiences the masters all warn of being attached to what they call the cedis the power that comes through realization because the energy the energy that comes through um makes you feel powerful this is the, the birth of the great evil deities if we trying to relate it you know, using memory in other words using a story of Jesus or good the buddha or whatever to this experience of suddenly being in, in emptiness which is what what it is really it's having no idea whatsoever but still being able to function in the world um being in the world but not of it that can create this pseudo experience of being in the present moment because you're you have an idea of what you're going through to be completely free of all that we have to be immersed in it to such an extent that it is us to be really out of it you've got to be totally immersed in it <laughs> see <laughs> how can you get that one you can't we are it you see we're totally it It's, there's no separation between the consciousness of the flow and the flow itself so as so long as you are outside of the flow you're you're not totally immersed in life in um in the flow I'm really getting it man you know I'm really I'm re really in, in the flow now <laughs> <laughs> It's almost impossible to describe. You cannot describe it. It's beyond, 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 because there's no, there's nothing. 
There's nothing to say. You can't communicate. And that's how the, the Tao Te Ching starts. The Tao that can be spoken is not the eternal Tao. Isn't that amazing? What a joke! <laughs> We have to learn the art of letting go, of just constantly detaching from it all, everything. Because until we, until we do that, you know, you keep getting your hooks into things. You keep getting drawn into this phantasmagoria. I like that word. <laughs> phantasmagoria. I'll write that down. Yeah, it's a good title for a track. It's a good one, isn't it? Phantasmagoria, yeah. Yeah, I like that. Thank you for listening to Facing the Music. We want to extend our gratitude for your company today. For enriching context and further insight into our series, do visit iTheSound.com/terry. We have provided all the pertinent information in the description. For those interested in delving deeper into Terry's compelling journey. His biography, Only Now, is readily available on all major online bookstores. It is an intimate and insightful account of a life dedicated to music and spiritual awakening. Lastly, please visit terryoldfield.com to stay up to date with Terry's latest endeavors. Once again, thank you for your time. This is John Valdivia from iTheSound.com.